Hello and welcome to the latest edition of Continuous Focus. As you can see, this edition is so much different because it's uh, home completely in 360. Um, and that's done via the uh, power of the Ricoh Theta S, which um, we got at the photography show last year in Birmingham. And it's a really interesting concept for photography and quite interesting when you have a group of people because uh, people actually don't know that you can't avoid the full 360 uh, camera. Um, but I quite like the, the shots, etc. But my problem um, is I don't always take the camera with me and uh, I sometimes think about using it after the event and uh, that was true of um, a trip to New York at the end of last year where we could have had fantastic uh, tiny planet compositions but I didn't think about that until we got to the top of the Empire State Building on I think our penultimate day but I did get to the top of the Empire State Building and took some photos so um, it is kind of cool to be able to get those kind of images. Now 360 degree photography is still very new and it's not something that everybody will be able to see or to watch or experience but it has its place and uh, I, I think it's rather rather interesting. Obviously this shot of uh, our living room isn't fantastic but you can have a look around and uh, you can see where I'm sat and uh, you can uh, see that I'm here. I'm obviously hiding everything I don't want you to see out of view because obviously it would be seen by the camera. So thankfully I have the big red chair. Now I haven't done a lot of uh, video with it. I've done more photos with it and I carry a little Manfrotto uh, tripod when I use it primarily because if you hold a 360 degree camera with your hand you end up with big thumb syndrome. Um, and that stops that because you don't see the thumb at the bottom of the lens when you're taking the shot. Now, I also do like to uh, see those pictures as they come out, um, but I do like to create tiny planets. So if you've not seen a tiny planet before, it either puts uh, you at the centre of your subject and puts everything else in the 360 degree view around it, or it does the reverse. It puts you on the outside with the 360 degree review under your kind of under your feet, like standing on top of the world. These are achieved fairly simply, fairly straightforward uh, to do. They take a bit of manipulation and software. It's not something you can do instantly. Um, and of course, the Theta doesn't have a screen. You can tether it to your phone, but I, I tend not to bother with um, using this as a viewfinder. I'll just use it as a shutter button. Um, but what I will tend to do when I'm out and about is take a couple of shots in a location and then see which ones work once I get them linked up to the, the phone and see which one then I can manipulate best. Lots of really great uh, channels and things out there about 360 photography. But I wanted to record a video and just say hi in all my 360 glory uh, because it's a, a change from the normal digital photography and the analog 35mm films I've been talking about in the past. And this was just a brief example of what's possible with a very small camera, um, same tripod, and me literally sitting here and you getting to experience the whole thing. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you view this um, on YouTube and Google Chrome because you'll get the full experience, hopefully if I get to edit it correctly. And I just wanted to say hi in full 360, so there you go. Hope you're enjoying my videos. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel, please drop me a line, tell me what you think, whether this weirds you out, whether it makes you feel ill or something. But uh, please um, do drop me a line and let me know what you think. There you go. Thanks for following, thanks for watching. Until next time, cheers.